a creative block of media here. Um, so what are your opinions on the creative subject? Well, as someone who uh, is professionally creative, I suppose, um, I am in favor of them. I think they're really good. Um, you know, yeah, I would, uh, we, we were talking about funding earlier, and um, I don't know what the in-depth detail of, of all Labour Party policy is. Even though I'm Labour Party, I'm not a politician yet, and so at one point I will know everything on the funding. But this is, this is, sorry, yeah, in five years' time. Um, but from a gut instinct, yes, we need to support media. Media is, is, is a huge thing now, and it's going to be even huger. Is that a word? Even bigger in the future. So, uh, and you can develop things here, like I did, as I started off as a street performer, and now I'm playing these vast places um, in America and around the world um, and in different languages. So it, it, it's great. We can export these yeah. things around the world. So yes, we should uh, fund it, uh, but we, we have to, as a party, be fiscally mm -hmm. responsible to, there isn't a lot of cash around. So we're doing a certain amount of funding and a certain amount of holding steady to just try to build everything back yeah. up. After the financial crisis mm -hmm. that was caused by money people and unscrupulous bankers who did all this subprime market thing, it wasn't to do with the Labour Party. It was to do with these crazy financial mm -hmm. people. Um, coming from quite a, so you kept your, your celebrity as well as being involved with Labour Party, do you f sometimes find it hard to get people to take you seriously as a politician and don't just kind of see you as a bit of a trademark of the Labour Party? Not really, because I've been campaigning since 2008. So I've done about four or five different campaigns. I've been talking about Europe for about 15 years. Uh, people have got, they did initially. The first time they would say, they'd sit me on the comfy chair. It's whether you sit on the comfy chair or the, or the harder chairs, yeah. if you go into a television studio. Yeah. And they'd sit me on a sofa and they'd say, Eddie, is, uh, what's funny about this or that? What's funny about it? And I'd say, no, I'm not here today. I'm, talking, I'm coming to talk seriously about this stuff. <laughs> so initially, they wouldn't take me seriously. But because I announced that I was running for Member of Parliament or Mayor of London in 2020, and I announced that five years ago, yeah. then I've sort of, I think I've moved into a slightly different space where people know that I'm not just mucking about. Yeah. Um, as a young person, um, uh, how would you advise them, like, uh, who is telling the truth? I think from the telling the truth point of view, you need to go on your gut instinct. Um, but the, the way I approach politics, why did I join the Labour Party? This word fairness. I've actually talked to someone uh, some time ago, and they said, fairness doesn't have a huge amount of traction in politics. You know, people don't really, it's not really grabbable. And I thought, well, surely it is, because I'm going to use it, because that's what I think it's about. Isn't that what life? We're trying to make it everyone has a fair deal. And fair doesn't mean that everyone has the same deal. But it just means that everyone's got a, a decent chance of moving their thing forward. Um, and so I'd say the, our party, that's what we're trying to do, to as many people as possible in a serious way as possible, because we can be the next government if people vote for us. I'd say Labour Party, fairness, that's what we're trying to do. I, I, it's, things are good for me. I'd like them to be good for everyone. Um, I know you've spoken about it a lot today, being in a school and everything. But um, I know a first-time voter, it's quite hard to work out what I should be doing to vote. So what would, bit of advice would you give a first-time voter? First-time voter? I would go on BBC pages. I would go on BBC pages. And BBC pages will, and because and, they break down everything. And it's free to go on, so it's great for students. Get on there. They'll break down the parties. They break it down. They, they, they spend people who are really good people, and they break down things, say, this is what this party believes in, that's what that party believes in, the other. And so you can, you can grab hold of it in, in, in smaller chunks. This is the trouble. The, the more de there's such a lot of detail in politics. And I think that gets young people to slow down, because they go, hang on, I haven't been dealing with any of this. And now I can vote, and wow, there's just a ton of stuff. But you need to be, get grabbable chunks when you're younger. And you also need to have a vision. I have a vision of the future. Open-handed politics, the idea of everyone in Europe, we, we have to learn to work together in some shape or form. We've got to do that, otherwise the world will not make it. A positive idea for everyone, fair deal for everyone. But that's just my view, and that's this party. But if, you want to, if you're a first-time voter and you're not sure, I think the BBC pages, you can trust them. They've got no axe to grind. The right-wing press, do not trust it. You've got all those papers that are run by four people. Yeah. And one of them is, is two brothers, which is one giant person running the Telegraph. <laughs> but the rest of them is four owners who are phoning their editors and saying, I want this. Be more aggressive. Hate the people on the center and the center left. All the people who care, I hate them. Just, just, put, just say Tory party first and last, and, boom, boom. and then they put the phone down. This is what they seem to do. And they've done this not only in the last decade, but for decades and decades and centuries. Yeah. It goes back into the 1800s and 1700s. So it's still going on. And it's, it's an unfair thing in this country. Yeah. Why it's so difficult to change, I am not 
sure, but eventually I will get into politics and find out. But BBC pages, you can trust them, get on there, get the breakdowns, just Google it, just say politics, get a politics page, you can find out about stuff and then make your choice. Thank you very much. We've had a pleasure, pleasure this time at this school. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Great, thank you.